Major Aleo. Yes, my lord. You have affirmed to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. I do, my lord. Yes. Now, you took over the affairs of Chief Abiola, the custody. When? My lord, there are technicalities here. Make your pardon? There are technicalities here. Yeah. Technically, handing over is supposed to be the dead, the handing over not is signed. Yes. Major Mustafa gave me his handing over note on 4th July. First. Fourth. Four. First. Fourth. 4th July. Yeah. Yes. Now, if we follow the technicalities, that means I took over 4th July. But then, he was already withdrawing from the work of the CSO. Yeah. And I can't afford to see my boss being left like that. Somebody have to take charge. So I took charge yes. and started preparing the ground before the official handing over. Yes. Do you know when General Abacha died? Yes, my lord. On the 8th of June. Between the 8th of June and the 4th of July, 1998, who was in charge of the custody of the late chief MQ Abiola? Effectively. Effectively? Yes. It could be Mustafa. Should be. It should, it should be Mustafa. But who was? Ordinarily, it should be Mustafa. But yeah. who was in charge? I was. Yes. So you took over the management or the custody of Shivabela on the 8th of June, 1998. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. Yes. For a month, you were in charge of Shivabela's affairs. Yes, my lord. <clears throat> who were his doctors at this, at this material time? Who were the doctors treating Chief Abiola, to your knowledge? Those details were not handed over to me. Yeah. And when I was with Chief Abiola, the only thing he told me was he fell down and his leg is whirling. Yes. And that they, they, he has been complaining for them to bring a doctor to come and see him. Yes. So I said, Chief, why don't we bring a doctor to come and see Dr. Refalo? From Lagos. From Lagos. He said, ah, young man, that's good. I would like that. I said, okay, we'll make that arrangement. And we are making the process of that arrangement. That was why his family came to see him. You were supposed to see him next after his family. Uh, Major. Yes, my For Lord. one month, you could not get his doctor from Lagos to visit him? For one month? Depending on when he told me he was sick. When did he tell you he was sick? He told me about towards the end of June or middle June. Yeah. So he told you towards the end of June or middle June. Yes. Be specific, that's about 15 days interval. Some, something like that. About middle of June. Yeah. And you could not arrange that. Is that correct? He told me it's nothing serious. He showed me his leg that is swollen, that he fell down. And now, he has been falling down with that swollen leg for the past how many months? Yeah. Uh, according to the Americans mm -hmm. with whom you visited Shifabella. Yes, my lord. He showed the delegation his still swollen ankle as at the 7th of July. Yes, my lord. His ankle was swollen. Yes, my lord. And when you took over January, June 8th, he also showed you a swollen ankle. Is that correct? He did not show me on June 8th. When did he tell you? 15th? I told you. I can't remember exactly. It was yes. the end of the month. I, I just want us to confine ourselves to what you can remember. Did he tell you he had hypertension? We did not, he did not tell me. Okay. Now, do you know that as soon as General Abubakar Absalami took over, he released all political prisoners, including convicted coup plotters. Are you aware of this? I'm aware, my lord. Are you aware that Chief M. K. Abiola was the only detainee that was left in detention in that category? Are you aware? I wouldn't be aware. I don't know. Because okay. I don't know the number of politicians that were in custody. Okay. Now, let's come to what you know. Yes, my lord. You did say that Dr. Refalomo never requested to visit Abiola. Not to me. Yes. Well, you were in charge of the security of the head of state. Yes, my do lord. Do you have anything to do with doctors visiting detainees? That part of your functions? No. Of course. Now, the delegation that visited Shifabiola on the 7th of July. Yes, my lord. As the American delegation. Yes, my led lord. Led by 
under Secretary Thomas Pickering. Are you aware? Yes, my lord. Now, on the 7th of July, 1998, Yes, my lord. You requested that delegation to address a press conference in Abuja to announce the death of Chief Abiola. Is that no, correct? No, my lord, it's not you, correct. Did the government, to your knowledge, request the delegation? No, my to lord. Do that? No, my lord. What specific request, other than telling the family, was there any other request made on that delegation? Not to my knowledge. Why was it impossible for the government to break the news to the family? Why did you have to recruit the foreigners to do it? The government break the news to the family. Very good. So you didn't request the delegation to do anything for you? No. Very good. Now, between you and Susan Rice, there was an, attack, there was an argument over who would break the news to the family. Is no, that correct? No, my lord, it's not correct. Not correct? Yes, my lord, it's not correct. But in your evidence in chief, you did say that Susan Rice offered. But there was no argument. There was no argument. Hmm? But Susan Rice offered to break the news to the family. Is that correct? It was being the only lady there. And oh, the very good. Very good. Now, after breaking the news to the family, which the CNC did himself, yes, mm -hmm. the American delegation addressed a press conference in Abuja, to your knowledge. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. Mr. Thomas Pickering said in the text of the press conference that Abiola died of natural causes. Are you aware? Yes, my lord. The president, I mean, the commander in chief of the armed forces at the material time, General Abdusalami Abubakar. Yes, my made lord. a broadcast to the nation following the unfortunate death of Shifabela yes, my and lord. told Nigerians that Shifabela died of natural causes. Are you aware? Yes, my lord. Are you aware that on the 8th of June, on the 8th of July, the American president, then Bill Clinton, sent a condolence message to Nigeria where he also attributed the death of Abela to natural causes. Yes, my lord. Yes. Now, the doctors that later came to conduct the autopsy also arrived at the same conclusion. Natural causes, are you aware? Yes, my lord. Yes. Now, the, the, the discussions between Shifabiola and the American delegation yes, my lord. centered on the June 12th mandate. Are you aware of this? My lord, here they have not even started anything concerning this question. They just introduced the issue. And the question people are asking was, so something like, what do you intend to do or what do you intend to do with your life or something like that if you live here? That was the beginning. That was what they started. That was the only statement. And the chief avoided answering it once. Then the second time I wanted to answer, the coffin started. So he did not answer anything. They did not discuss. I don't know the discuss anything about June 12 or anything. Yeah. So before the American delegation asked him, what role will you want to play in the politics of Nigeria after your release? That, that was what they asked him. Well, maybe. I can't remember exactly. No, but you were just telling us now. What can you remember? My Lord, it's a long discussion. time. It's you are an intelligent officer. Yeah, I am. You I am. I live. They did ask him, upon your release, because his release was imminent. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. They ask him, what role will you want to play in the politics of Nigeria? Are you, can you remember that? Probably. I can't remember exactly. Yeah. So you can also not remember that before that question was asked, he was asked to forgo his mandate. Therefore, what role will you want to play? I can't remember if he was asked that. But okay. What can you remember precisely? Most, I, I don't think he has asked that. But you don't think you heard that? Yeah. Was that, the, the politics of Nigeria discussed at all? I them. told you the exchange pleasantries, yes. which took most of the time. Yes. And immediately he just asked in that particular question. Chief did not even start talking. Okay. Then when he talked, he coughed, he talked, he coughed. Yeah. Then the whole thing went here and the whole, pro the whole problem started. Yeah. You did say that the service chiefs had visited Chief Abiola yes, before the lord. American delegation. Some of them, yes, my lord. Yes. When was this? Within the month of June. I can't remember the dates. Yes. Uh, that would be about the 2nd and the 3rd of July. July? Yes. 1998. If you say so. Yeah. Chief Emeka visited him on the 5th of July. Are you aware of this? I know Chief Emeka Onyaku visited him, but I can't remember the date. Uh, the United Nations Secretary General, Kofi Annan, visited him on the 4th of July. Can you remember that? Yes, I know he visited him. I can't remember the date. The discussion 
between Chief Abiola and these powerful men at home and abroad centered on the June 12th mandate. Are you aware of this? I'm not aware. You are not aware? Yes, my lord. What did Chief Abiola discuss with the service chiefs, to your knowledge? You I can't remember. I can't remember. What did he discuss with Kofi Annan, to your knowledge? I'm not aware. Eme Kanyaoku. Major Ali. Yes, my lord. Are you aware Kofi Annan addressed a press conference in Abuja where he announced that Chief Abela had given up his mandate? Are you aware of this? You're not what? aware? Well, I knew he has given up a press statement, yes. but I didn't know the details. Yes. Are you aware that Chief Eme Kanyaoku also addressed a press conference in Lagos where he gave the impression that Chief Abela had given up the June 12th mandate? I know he came with people and they snap pictures and I know he gave a press conference. I, I will come details. to the photograph now. I'm asking what you can remember. I don't know the details. Good. Now, since you were in these meetings, did Chief Abela, to your knowledge, give up his mandate, June 12th mandate, to your knowledge? Did he? To my knowledge? Yes. I don't know. You were in the meetings? I don't know. I was sitting I'm saying to your knowledge. Yeah, to my knowledge. Did what? he give up the mandate? To my knowledge, I don't know. Assistant, I don't know. Okay. So you can't remember what Abiola discussed with any of those who visited him? That's not my business. Major I, didn't, Aliyu, I can't remember. Major Aliyu, yes, you were able Lord. to remember in details all events that took place before those discussions and after. Yes, my But Lord. those ones you can't remember. You yes, don't want to Lord. remember. I can't remember them. Very good, Major. Now, you did say that you took part of the tea. Let him have a look at exhibit two. You took part of the tea that Abiola was served. Is that correct? I took. There, did you take? No. Very good. Now, <laughs> you did not take part of the tea. I did not. Do you know who prepared the tea? The stewards and cooks in Aguda House. Yes. But the tea was served by a member of the American delegation, to your knowledge. Yes, my lord, because the stewards have already left before he requested. Very good. In all your experience in the security department, can you remember any single incident where a foreigner gave food or tea or water to a detainee in Nigeria? Any incident? My lord, the situation and the setting. Can you remember one incident? No, my lord. No, my lord. Now, the, the delegation, the, the members of the international team of uh, doctors, did they interview you? They did not, my lord. So, it is not correct, as they claim in their report, that they spoke to all those who were with Chief Abiola when he died. So it is not correct. Where You've read it out. Let me see the place. Where is it? <laughs> yes. So they never spoke to you? They did not speak to me. So it is not correct that they spoke to everybody who was present? It is not correct. Did they say it here? Yes. Can I see the place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have a look at exhibit 2. Um, paragraph 2. In addition, can you read paragraph 2? Which one is that? Do Page two, XB two. You had read it I read beautifully. It, yeah. Is it the opinion or the letter you are talking about? Yes, the letter of August two. Your your lawyer directed your attention to it. In reaching our conclusion, yes, a number of sources of information were used. All available documented medical history of Chief Abiola was reviewed. In addition, witnesses who were present at the time of collapse. And during, and during the period of attempted resuscitation, yes. as well as medical personnel who treated Chief Abiola and some family members were interviewed. So, that is not correct. 
Why? They did not say all. They said some. With not all available. Yes. All available Just documents. Just a minute. In addition, witnesses who were present at the time of collapse, witness. Just a minute. Were you spoken to? I they didn't speak to you. I was not spoken to. You were the main witness because you brought Abiola to them. You also mm. led them to take Abiola to the hospital. So they never spoke to you. That is the point I'm making. My Lord, do you know there was a senior government official there? I know, but did they speak to you? Did they speak to you? They did not. They did not. Thank you very much. Now, if you look at Exhibit 2, which you have uh, read copiously from, mm -hmm. um, it's not really... Uh -huh, page 11. On gastrointestinal system of Abiola. Gastrointestinal system. Page yes, 11. Yes, my lord. Paragraph 2. Yes, my lord. Just listen. The stomach, small, and large intestines are markedly distended with gas post mortem. Why not? Excuse me. Can Where is the place? Gastrointestinal system. Okay, gastrointestinal system. Can you see that? Yes, my lord. Can you read the first three lines, uh, sentences? The oral cavity is unremarkable with no evidence of trauma. Yes. The oesophagus is unremarkable. Yes. The stomach, small and large intestine are markedly distended Stented. with gas. Yes. But otherwise unremarkable. But otherwise unremarkable. Yes, next sentence. The mm -hmm. stomach contains The stomach contains a small amount of yellowish mucoid material, possibly possible swallowed sputum. Yes. Now, when last did Abiola, when was he fed last, before the 7th of July? Because there was no food in his intestine, according to your, the doctors. When last did you feed Chief Abiola before the 7th? He you was, were in charge. You see, you were in charge. When last? They brought him, they, brought, they normally give him his food. You were there? I don't have to be there. No, to your knowledge, when last was Chief Abiola fed? Because these doctors are saying, we broke the intestine, only mucus. I don't know when he was fed last. Yeah, thank you. I don't know when he was fed last. He, and he did not complain to me when we were in the vehicle okay. that he has not eaten. Do you know the doctors that recommended the drugs that were found in his possession? Do you know the doctors? I don't know. Yeah. Do you know that Dr. Yakasai, a gynecologist, do you I'm, know he was a, he's a gynecologist? I know, my lord. Do you know that he treated Chief Abiola before you took over his affairs? Was the one treating him? Do you know that? I'm not aware of that, my lord. Did he complain to you, Chief Abela, that Yakasai was the one treating him? No, my lord. He did not tell me. Now, who took over his medical affairs then? For the one month you were in charge? Who was in charge? You don't know. No, nothing was handed over to me, and I, I don't know. So no doctor treated Abela for the one month, to your knowledge? Witness, we yes, listened to you in chief. Yes, you are fluent and forthcoming. Yes, now, cross examination. Sometimes you are giggling. I don't know what was amusing you. And you don't remember. It's a litany of I don't know, I don't remember. Please help us. Yes, my lord. My lord, you see, this actually, this role is not supposed to be for CSO. This, ma this late chief was supposed to be handled by the police and the court. You are supposed to be Thank chief you. intelligence officer. Yes, my lord. Uh, we've met somebody who was there before you. Yes, my lord. And we can assess him. Yes, my lord. I don't tell me that you are so daft. They shouldn't have put you there. Major Ali, please help us. Please help, Major Ali. Yes, my lord. Who was the doctor in charge of Chief Abiola between the 8th of June and the 7th of July, to your knowledge? Because on the 7th, you called Dr. Wally when there was an emergency. Yes, my lord. Who was the doctor treating him? I don't know. You don't know? Yes, my lord. Okay. Now, you did say that, and this was on the 5th of July. Yes, my lord. That Chief Anyaku visited Chief Abiola. In the company of the CGS then, Vice Admiral Ahigbe. Yes, my lord. They took photographs with him. Is that correct? Yes, my lord. Those photographs were printed in Abuja here at the insistence of the government. Is that to your knowledge? I didn't know that, my lord. They were published in the papers, those photographs. I've seen them in the papers too, my lord. So you don't know they were published in the papers? I didn't know. Well, Do you know of any incident where a detainee in Nigeria was photographed, was asked to pose for a photograph while in detention? Do you know of any incident? 
No, my lord. No, my lord. Now, the CGS was appointed when? To your knowledge. I can't remember the exact date. The head of state, General Abubakar, was appointed as head of state when? To your Na knowledge. 9th June. 9th June. Yes, my lord. When was his deputy appointed? I can't remember the exact date, but it's yes. somewhere in June, sometimes in June. It was, will I be correct to say it was appointed on the 10th of June? Sorry? 10th of June? I can't remember the exact date. Okay. Now, for between the time it was appointed and the 7th of July, I put it to you that it was a period of about three weeks. You, do, you can't remember? My Lord, I can't remember. Was he appointed on the 7th of July, to your knowledge? Did the Abiola die? Was that the day he was appointed? No, he was not appointed that day. Where was he reporting before that day? Why did he ask for, to ask for a key that day? Where was his office? Between the time of his appointment and the day of the incident. My Lord, I don't remember. know. You don't know? Yes, my Lord. Thank you very much. So, he was not reporting in the villa. To your knowledge, he was not reporting in the villa? He was reporting. Sometimes I see him in the his office. Yes. So, so I remember he traveled to go and hand over his office. Very good. And one or two couple of times in the, with the CNC. Mostly. Yes. Hold it. What did you say? You remember? You remember something now? <laughs> yes, my lord. No, let's hear what you remember. That's what I remember, sir. He was coming to the office. He was coming to the CNC. I used to see him in the CNC's office. Most times they are in the CNC's office and the conference room upstairs. So he was uh, running his office from the conference room or the CNC's office. Is that what you want this commission to believe? Is that correct? He didn't go to his own office? Yes, my lord. He didn't go to his own office? He has not taken over his office then. Yes. You see, where I'm going is this. The withdrawal of Sadok at the material time. You understand me? So that I can put your mind at rest. Yes, my lord. I am not accusing you of having murdered Chief Abela. What we are trying to find out is who did what at what time. In the interest of justice and the truth. Now, the chief of general staff radio phoned you, telephoned you. Is that correct? No, on the 7th? No, my lord. Who gave you the information on the 7th that the key to his office was needed? Who? His own chief security officer. His own security officer. Yes. What's his uh, name? Uh, Lieutenant Commander Matthew. Yes. Found phone you. He did not phone me. What did he do? They talk over the radio and call Zadok to come and open your office. Yes. That was what happened that day. Yes, my lord. Yes. Now, on that date that Zadok left, nobody t tasted the tea before Chief Abela took it. Nobody, to your knowledge. Yes, my lord. Nobody. Now, are you aware that, from your experience, that food, water, and whatever that is meant for detainees is usually tasted? Even if the relations bring food or anything, that is the normal practice. Do you know that? I don't know. I have not seen it in writing. <laughs> now, Major Aliu. Yes, my lord. Major Aliu. Yes, my lord. The, the service shifts at the material time were in different parts of the country. Yes, my lord. By the virtue of their positions. Some were in Lagos, some in Kaduna and others. Is that correct? Some were in Lagos, some were in Abuja, not in Kaduna. Yeah. On the day, on the 7th of July, all the service ships were in Abuja, to your knowledge. To your knowledge. Yes, you, my because lord. Because you said they met. I put it to you that they were waiting for the report of Abiola's death. That was why they were in Lagos, to your knowledge. I mean in Abuja. No, they schedule a state council meeting. They don't just schedule a meeting like that. Are they members of the council of state, to your knowledge? Service chiefs, to your knowledge? They were. They were? Council yes, my lord. State. Not governors, the CNC, are members of the council of state under the military? My lord, okay. if I will request that, I should be confined to my role as CNC. No, I'm going to confine you to what you know. <laughs> Because you were the chief security officer to the head of state. If you don't know, simply say you don't know. 
Do you know that service chiefs were not members? Hold it. What did he say? She consult who? He said he wants to be confined to what he knows. Oh, what he knows? Yes. Not what I know, my lord. How much do you know? Nothing. <laughs> All right, confine it to what he knows. Now, now, you do not know that service chiefs were not members of the Council of State. You do not know. That's not my job, my lord. That is not your job. Good. Now, let's come to your job. You said that the Chief of General Staff, Vice Admiral Ahum, I mean, uh, Aibe, came to the Asoro Clinic and was going to break down, but in order to avoid embarrassment before members of the American delegation, you persuaded him to leave. Is that correct? I didn't know, my lord. What happened? I did not say he was going to break down. What, what was he going to do? But he was looking confused, and in that stage, I don't want to us to portray a bad image of the nation. Yes. Abiola had not died at that stage. No, my lord. Yes. Now, when you said that you did not trust Zadok. Yes, my lord. You left Abiola's life in the hands of Sadok. With checks and balances, my lord. Yes. But when it came to the question of money, the feeding allowance, yes, you my took lord. that over. You didn't trust him in that respect. Yes, my lord. On the other side, I will tell you, if I may digress here. Yes. He don't have the powers to pick chief out of that house yeah. without the CEO knowing. And the CEO deployed guards physically on the ground who was in charge of the place. So yeah. if that does go, they only know him and they allow him and they will stand with him and he come out. Yeah. Now, before Zadok was posted to manage Yabiola for two years, between 1996 and 1998. Yes, my lord. He was already accused of involvement in arms dealing and illegal killing of citizens of this country to your knowledge is that correct according to you yes my lord so you put abiola in the hands of a killer is that correct my lord and I, I learned about this information after he left the whole unit was posted away From that was one normally information flows so you can't remember who gave you the information well you can't sources must be protected yeah <laughs> now do you know of any incident? Okay. Now let's just... You said the villa. Nobody could arrest anybody in the villa. Yes, my lord. Do you want this honorable commission to believe that? Even those who were accused of murder of innocent citizens in town, one, they were not so wrong, they were immune from arrest and prosecution. Is that correct? Depending on the person in charge. Yes. But when you were in charge, Zadok was protected. I didn't know he was having that case, and the police did not ask me. Yes. But before, my, before I came, I learned that they even wrote letters requesting you for know me. You know Rogers? I know Rogers. He was not with you? He was. Don't you know that he was also alleged to have killed certain people? I didn't know. He has confessed before this commission in Lagos that, that was he killed Kudera and others. I don't know. It was in his confession that I'll come to learn about it or after we left office. But during the reign of General Basha, to your knowledge, yes, my lord. there were reported cases in the papers. Sure. That Major Mustafa Al Mustafa was in charge of a killing squad in Abuja. Did yeah. you read about that? I read it, my lord. Uh -uh. But Sadok was in the BG, to your knowledge. No, he was part of the police unit, my lord. Yes, posted to handle that situation with the BG. Yes, my lord. So you knew that he was a killer? I didn't know he was a killer. Okay. I knew he was a policeman. After he had left Asorok, you then knew? Yes, my lord. Okay. Now, let, let's just get uh, across to this one. Uh, the American delegation. Yes, my lord. Susan Rice informed the family, according to you and your evidence in chief, no. after General Bubakar. Had... She was together with the CNC when he broke the news to them. Yes, after the CNC had broken the news. Yes, my lord. Susan Rice then tried to convince the family that there was no foul play. She According to you, your evidence in chief. My lord is asleep. She condemned, she condoled the family and passed the normal pleasantries. And did not say that uh, there was no foul play. She didn't say that. She did not say that. It's asleep. Now you are now withdrawing that? I'm withdrawing it. Okay. <laughs> now you said the function of the CSO was to protect the head of state. Yes, my lord. How come you were collecting cars, 
giving them some of them to the president the vice president and the rest of them was that part of your function my lord the villa they are all part of the villa so they are part of the functions of the CSO? Yes, my lord. And I also, I only give it to the president-elect then. He yeah. was a president-elect, and the president had to get out for him, which is the office of the president. Yeah. Now, to your knowledge, for the one month you were in charge of Abela? Yes, my lord. Nobody was in charge of his, uh, tasting his food or drink, to your knowledge? Nobody. You see, nobody. Can you remember that one? There was nobody. Nobody. That's all for him. 